In this video, I show you uh, the BAV and VAC file, the routing files used for the dynamic assignment. I will discuss what they are, uh, how they are created, and what to what is in them basically. So when you go to the <laughs> parameters in dynamic assignment, you have two files here. <clears throat> um, if you don't set up manually, Vizim will automatically create these for you. Um, I will, it will use the name of your model file. Uh, Devalue initial interval. This is editable now, but once you have uh, once you have run the model once, and then you have this file, it will be grayed out. You need to make sure that you store costs and paths to actually save those paths you find and the travel time on them. And the create archive files is also useful when you do multiple runs and then you can go back and see how it changes. Um, and you can track what's going on. Okay, and again, vehicle class, so automatically it is saved to all vehicles. But if you are interested to have uh, specific data for each vehicle class as an extra, you can do that. You just tick the box. Let me just tick card and you will see in the settings. My model runs for 900 seconds. So just something to keep in mind when I open the files, I will show why that's important. Okay, and this is just... Uh, that was just an error to show that um, this is uh, relative to the um, assignment, but not included in the in the um, checks. Sorry, in the evaluation. So if we go to the files, this is the BAF file. I start with that, and that is the vague. It shows the interval there, that is a table. In the BAF file, you have the edges and the travel time for each of them. So the edges are here, number one, then semicolon, then from node, node number one, then two node, node number two, and the link sequence is one. But if it is a longer one, so which has multiple links, then this is the link sequence. So if we take this as an example, so if we check edge number two, traffic, dynamic assignment, edges. So number two is this one. So if you check um, edge number two, this is link number one, then 10,000, then five, and so on. So one, 10,000, and five, and so on, the, the others. If you go to the bottom, there is another table uh, which shows the edge number, so one, so basically this one and then the travel time for all vehicles for the first evaluation period so we have the model set up to 900 seconds and the evaluation interval is 300 for the dynamic assignment so we will have basically three um, intervals 0 to 300 3 to 6 and 6 to 900 if you keep carry on, there is also a, a travel time old. Previously, what happened? Uh, volume interval, and as you can see, it is um, it is empty, so it's not applicable at the moment. There is a volume new, then travel time new again, just for the second interval, and so on. And here you have the same data for the car specific vehicle class, so vehicle class car the same data there. Yeah, if you go to the fake file, you have uh, again some information up here. Then the same identical edge uh, table, just edge number from node to node link sequence. And then you have two sections here. This and this. This one shows the paths found so far uh, between car parks. So from parking lot to parking lot. And this bottom one is from vehicle from dynamic vehicle routing decision to car park. Since I don't have a dynamic vehicle routing decision, there is nothing here. And I only run the model once, so it only shows the shortest path here. 
that is not closed, uh, which doesn't have closed edges included in it. If I run the model more, ta more multiple times, that will be more. Let me just do that. And again, before I do that, just uh, quickly. So from car park to car park, ash sequence. So here in commas, this is the ash sequence. So edge number 1, 14, 2, 16, 12. So the path is 1, 14, 2. So 1, 14, 2. And then... 16, 12, 16, 12. So basically the shortest path, that is path number one that has been found so far. Okay. And then you have some um, volume, new uh, for each evaluation period. Uh, then you have the same again for cars. Then travel time, path travel time path travel time and the last one the demand target relative you just shouldn't worry about that anyway it's empty that's not to worry about okay so if i run it one more time okay again the same uh this error it just basically shows that um it is included in the vehicle composition but we don't um we don't check it in the interval sorry in the evaluation uh which it doesn't matter it's just a uh, output so if i open the bag again now you have two paths so it found a new one that is 114 that is the same as before and then it goes to 11 16 12. so 11 16 and 12 so the same just goes around if you see there are more um, edges here but those are only for evaluation if you want to get rid of those or you don't want to have those you just need to basically untick this setting yeah and then it won't be considered of course you need to do it for all the nodes or um, to remove all of them <clears throat> So yeah, and just one <laughs> before you go. So you have the BAV and VAG, which is um, matching your model name or what you set up. And there is no 001. So this one, basically an archive from the previous one. So if you open that up, uh, let me do the VAG, that is easier to see. That is the third, that is the one path. So it just basically creates a copy um, and adds that little ending there. Just you need to be careful that if you run it again, if I run it again, you get errors saying that when archive file was written the existing file so it just basically you get an error message that there are already files existing because you run at the moment if you check in the simulation there is only number of runs one so it just basically keeps overwriting that same file but if you have three runs then you will have so i didn't delete previously but i only got this message once because if you look at it when you do multi runs it shows all the previous files archived and now if i run it again a free run then these will be um, again updated just you will get a the error message you just probably better off uh, to just delete these before you run another run just to make sure if you have them open or something it can't overwrite and things like that just to make sure that these are uh, overwritten and updated so better if you just delete them um, because otherwise you need to deal with uh, um, these warnings and that can uh, you know be annoying so yeah and again if you have them open and it can't override them it's 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 you can lose your data so it's better to just delete them thanks for watching in the next one i will carry on with the other aspects of the dynamic assignment